I know how to make beer, and I knew what beers I wanted to make. Josh Rake, I'm the owner and uh, head brewer here at Rake Beer Project in Muskegon, Michigan, and we're uh, just kicking out a bunch of progressive farmhouse sales. I'm from here, um, born and raised. Growing up, I always wanted to be able to come back with a business. I never knew what it would be, but as soon as I got into the beer industry, I kind of figured that I would be able to turn this thing into something that I would be able to bring back to my hometown. And we have a really dedicated team here, basically family and best friends of mine. Every piece of furniture in here we made ourselves. We have all live edge wood that we turned into tables and benches ourselves. And the other tables are wooden spools, uh, old wire spools. And I had an idea of what I wanted to be, and. Um, I knew I wanted it to be very like cozy and kind of woodsy in here, but also like modern industrial. Um, and I just wanted it to be something a little bit different than what you normally see in West Michigan. You know? I knew I needed to find something that I really could enjoy and something I could see myself doing, you know, for 20 years down the road or whatever it might be. As soon as I got into the brewing industry, I knew right away that this was, you know, this was it for me. I've been really lucky to have worked for, you know, in my opinion, some of the best breweries in the country. Prior to this, I was working at Old Nation Brewing Company. Uh, and before that, I was at New Holland Brewing Company. And before that, I was at Jolly Pumpkin. And even before that, I was at a really small little brewery called The Gallery. And that's where I, where I got my footing and decided I liked the industry. And uh, from there, I decided I wanted to drop out of school and pursue, you know, pursue brewing as a career. I call our beer um, progressive farmhouse sales. So what that means to me is that we take traditional brewing methods or styles, we take those and we apply them to modern kind of popular styles of beer. So as you'll see our draft list right now, it's a lot of heavily fruited sour beers and IPAs. To the regular consumer, that might just look like a regular draft list. But to us, those beers are raw, unfiltered Norwegian farmhouse beers that we've somehow managed to turn into beers that people recognize. Raw basically just means that it's not boiled. We basically bring the beer up to pasteurization temperatures and then knock it out right from there. That's our whole goal is to kind of take a really technical brewing standpoint, but have it be something that people feel familiar with. We want to really be re uh, reactive to what the market's asking for. You know, we have a certain style that we we want to make beers, we have a certain way that we want to make our beers, but beyond that, we want to make what people want. Our, we have two flagship beers, and that is our 231 and our Marley beer. Uh, Marley beer is named after my dog. That's my favorite beer, that's the beer I brew for myself. It's a tart, rustic table beer, basically, uh, fermented with a Norwegian farmhouse yeast strain, brewed with some oats and some wheat, but very simple, very light. It's only about 3.8% uh, ABV, and it's just a beer that I really think kind of showcases what I want to do here, as far as my own tastes go. Um, and then 231 is the uh, is the flip side of that. So it's also a table beer, it's light, it's about 4%, but it's not sour, it's a clean beer. And so those are our two flagships, those are the two beers that will always be on, and everything else will be constantly rotating through. We have noticed a trend already where, you know, we have two beers that are just completely killing everything else in sales, and that's our two imperial sour beers that are like really heavily fruited. They're not quite as uh, flashy as the fruited sour beers, but I'm really, really happy with those IPAs that, uh, that we have on draft right now. 
Zen Lunatic would be what would be called our flagship IPA, although it won't always be on draft. Um, and that is a raw, rustic, it's almost 7%, and double dry hop with, you know, all the sexy hops, the mosaic, citra, and amarillo hops. To us, it's it's kind of doing what we see as popular in the IPA world, but also having our, you know, our twist on it there with using our Norwegian farmhouse yeast strain that we use for everything else here, and then also bring it in the raw style. My plan is to do a can release or two every week or every other week. So we want it to be kind of a rapid fire sort of thing here. Everything that goes on draft, we want to be able to have at least a little bit of cans out in the market for that. All of our beers are reconditioned in the keg or can, so they're naturally carbonated. And so it makes it a lot easier for us to be really flexible with how we want to can things. So it allows us to do a case that we want to, or 20 cases or 50 cases, you know, depending on the day. It sounds funny to say, but right now we're already kind of hitting our goal, which is to have our tap room busy and to have our can releases and bottle releases sell out. This is what we want to do, and we just want to continue doing this and kind of explore other styles and try to see how far we can push our style.